Uh, we've got grams to moles. So you got 24 grams of carbon, and you're going to moles. You might even want to start writing it like this if this will help you so you know you remember what you're, what you're doing. Now, we know grams <coughs> to moles. Okay, so you write it out. Mass to moles. Now, when we do that, it specifically says to divide. So you look at that, you follow the chart, divide. In this case, again, by the gram atomic mass. However, we're not dealing with iron now. We're looking at carbon. So we have to find the mass of carbon on our periodic table. It is 12.01, so it's going to be divided by 12.01 grams per mole of carbon. <coughs> Actually, I don't need to keep this. Okay, give me that blank one that you were going to give me. Yeah. Oh, keep it then. All right, now, you just simply write it out. You plug it in, 24 grams carbon, divide by... Well, grams of carbon on the bottom. You're going to moles, so moles of carbon must go on the top. You know your conversion is one mole to 12.01 grams. What's your answer come out to be here? I believe it's 1.998. We'll just round that up to two. So what's on the bottom? 24, right? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if it's like that, sure. So, are there any questions with, with this problem or, or the other two we just did? Yeah. Why is 12.01 on the bottom? The reason, here's how you know this. Two, two ways. Why is 12.01 on the bottom? Because there's two ways to check. First way, we're going mass to moles. <coughs> the chart says divide by... 12.01 grams. So you put it down there. That's way one. Second way, you know grams is right here. You must put grams down there to make sure the units cancel out. Okay? And then moles. So and you have to the only part you have to remember is the conversion that one mole is equal to 12.01. Does that help, Ellie? Alright. 